Hey, I'm Mark Romanek, and we're going to do a test ride video on one of my favorite boat models from StarCraft. This is called the SDX 2050. This is a special edition boat that was built for the ICAST convention. Look at it. It is gorgeous, and it fishes as good as it looks. The StarCraft SDX 2050 is 20 foot 2 inches long down the center line, has a whopping beam of 100 inches, and a maximum horsepower capacity of 250 horses. There are a couple of features about the StarCraft SDX 2050 that I think are important to understand. First of all, the hull on this boat is built out of 125 thousandths aluminum. Most boats in this size class are built out of 100 thousandths aluminum, so this is a much thicker hull. It's a full 1 eighth of an inch aluminum. The other thing is that the hull design is called the Power Track hull. And this is an exceptional hull, very smooth riding hull, designed for big water, designed for performance. So collectively, the fact that it's got a thick hull and the fact that it's got the power track hull make this an ideal big water, serious fishing boat. I'm sitting here at the command center for the SDX and it's incredibly well set up for fishing. It starts with this captain seat. This is an optional captain seat, but it is incredibly plush. I highly recommend checking out one of these captain seats. The console itself is set up for serious fishing. There's plenty of room for not one, but two sonar GPS combinations. You can see that the stream wheel is tilt wheel, so it allows a big man to get in here and tilt the wheel where he wants so he can be very comfortable. All of your gauges are well lit, well located, so they're easy to see. And when you turn one on, you can tell that it's indexed. Of course, you've got an AM FM radio here. You've got an MP3 port if you want to put your own custom tunes. You also have a 12 volt accessory switch here. So if you want to charge your cell phone, you can do all of that. And our test model here, because it's got an Evernote E-Tech G2 on it, actually has their gauge system on here as well. So you can control the functions of the outboard through that gauge as well. So as we're sitting here, there's a lot going on on the console of the SCX 2050. The raised casting deck in the STX is very nice. It's carpeted up here. Um, it houses some important features like your live well. This live well is very large, it's divided. Also has a bait well feature inside the live well, so you can access your bait here. Uh, you can put your catch in here and it could be as fish as large as musky if you wanted to. It's a huge live well. There's also a dry storage compartment as well here in the rear casting deck. So all said and done, very well set up here. The attention to detail on the SDX is very impressive. One of my pet peeves about a fishing boat is where do you put the batteries? The STX has got it completely figured out. There's two separate battery compartments in the floor of the boat. Not only can you run a cranking battery in this boat, but you could run two cranking batteries if you prefer. And there's room in here for up to three deep cycle batteries as well. So there's storage for battery capacity in the floor for up to five batteries. Even better, if you open these lids, you drop the batteries in. It's an easy way to get batteries in and out of the boat to maintain them, or if you're just rigging the boat. This is set up ideally for fishing. The SDX comes standard with a vinyl cockpit, and that vinyl is high-grade vinyl, perfect for keeping it clean while you're fishing. But it also has an option for a snap-in carpet, so you have the best of both worlds. If you're doing a type of fishing where you're not going to be using live bait and you want the plushness of carpet, you can snap the carpet liner in. On the other hand, if you're doing some live bait fishing, say for walleye, and you know it's going to be messy, or maybe you're salmon fishing and you know it's going to be messy, you can take that carpet out and you got a beautiful vinyl floor. You have the best of both worlds with the STX. On the port and starboard gunnels are some really nice dry storage compartments. All the way in the back corner here, when you open it up, there's room in here for small items. Fit in there very nice. I often store things like tools in there. Moving a little bit farther forward, we got a larger box that takes bulkier items. Things like planer boards fit nicely in here as well. So both of these compartments are not only dry storage, but they're also lockable. So it's a really nice feature. If you got important things in there or valuable things, you can turnkey lock it and not have to worry about those things being stolen. Because the STX is designed to be a serious fishing boat, it comes factory standard with four pieces of this track that's mounted on the gunnel. The gunnels are nice and wide on this boat, so this track mounts easily there. And what it allows you to do is mount accessories like these rod holders or maybe downriggers, those types of things, tool holders. All these accessories mount beautifully in a track system. The nice thing about this is that, say, for example, you're going to go trolling, you're going to need rod holders. Well, maybe let's say you're not going to troll. Let's say you're going to go fish for bass or maybe you're going to cast for walleye. You can take all those rod holders and accessories off the boat if you don't need them. Track is really cool because it allows you to add the accessories as you need them and take the accessories off when you don't. Our test model here has an aftermarket product that I think is pretty cool. It's called a smooth move seat. If you haven't seen one of these, they're a suspension seat and basically what they do is they give you like a shock absorber effect when you're running in rough water. Big problem with running in rough water is if the boat is pounding, your body is taking a lot of that abuse. With the smooth move, it takes all that abuse out and really softens up the ride in rough water. You combine that with one of these plush captain seats, you have absolutely the best ride you can get in rough water. If you haven't checked out the smooth move, you're going to want to check it out. It's very, very cool. 
I'm on the casting deck now of the STX 2050 and there's plenty of room up here for two guys to fish in comfort. It's all carpeted so it's very plush up here, but there's a lot of important features I need to talk about. For one, there's a bait well up here that's aerated. So there's also a bait well in the back of the boat, but every time you need a minnow, you don't have to go to the back of the boat. Your bait is right there, fresh and handy for you. There are also integrated rod tubes down both sides, so there's room up here to store four additional rods on top of the deck. There are one, two, three, four dry storage compartments up here. The dry storage compartments are huge. All the tackle you're gonna use for an entire season of fishing, you can put it in in the spring, not take it out until you stow the boat in the fall. So there's lots of dry storage. And then right down the middle is one of the nicest features. It's the center rod tube storage. There's enough room in here to store 10 rods as well there. So you can have easily a dozen, maybe 14 rods in this boat and never have to worry about a place to stow them. Lots of room on the casting deck of the STX 2050. One of the other features I like up here on the casting deck is this control panel. It's got a lot of unique functions here. For example, this is where you're going to plug in your electric motor. It's also where you're going to be able to monitor those batteries to see how much charge that those batteries have. You can control your trim of your big engine. Say, for example, you get into shallow water, you can trim up the engine from up here. You don't have to go back to the back of the boat in order to do that. You also have a courtesy light, and then there's a plug here for accessory switch, so if you want to charge your cell phone or some other type of accessory while you're up here, you can do that as well. All of this is up here on the bow of the boat. It allows you to function the main things like live wells and stuff like that without having to leave the bow of the boat. You know, our test model here has an Evinrude E-Tech G2 on it. The G2 is the second generation of the E-Tech technology, and as you can see, this one's pretty unique in the coloration. These panels that make up the outboard are interchangeable, and they can be changed out for different colors. What that allows a customer to do is you can actually customize your outboard to match the color scheme of your boat. And you can see in this instance, it's a pretty bright color that we've chosen here. There's over 400 different combinations of colors that you can pick from. So you literally can make your outboard and your boat a one of a kind if you choose. Some of the other features that I like about the E-Tech G2 is the fly-by-wire throttle control. It's instantaneous power. When you hit that throttle, you have power right now. You also have great performance with this boat. This particular boat comes on plane in less than three seconds with the E-Tech on it. That's impressive when you look at a fully loaded boat of this size. The other thing that's cool is the gauge systems that come standard with these e -techs. With the gauges, you can see all kinds of important functions. Like, for example, you can monitor your RPMs, you can monitor your speed, but you can also monitor things like fuel burn. For example, I can see exactly how much fuel or how much two-stroke oil I'm burning at any given time. So I can monitor those things so I can dial in the best gas mileage. Well, why is that important? Well, if I can monitor my gas mileage, I can trim the engine to get just the best performance out of this engine so I'm burning the least amount of fuel possible. That saves me money every time I put the E-Tech on the water. Hey, let's wrap up a little bit about the Avenrood E-Tech G2. This outboard is a two-stroke outboard, but it has some of the best fuel economy you'll find in any outboard. It has better torque than you'll find in any four-stroke outboard. The maintenance schedule for this is much better than you'll ever see with four-stroke, and it happens to be one of the coolest-looking outboards in the world. Check out the Evinrude E-Tech G2. I think you'll like it as much as I do. You know, there's a lot of features about the STX 2050 we didn't have time to highlight, but I'll tell you what, if you go to StarCraftMarine.com and check it out online, you'll learn all there is to know about this boat, or better yet, go to your favorite StarCraft dealer and see one of these boats in person firsthand. I think you'll agree with me, this is an awesome big water fishing platform. <laughs>